In this video, we will configure Databricks command line interface and access Databricks Spark cluster through its command line interface. Okay, for this, you would need to have Python ID already installed on your machine. And since you are inquiring about a Databricks and Spark cluster, those kind of area, I already assume you would already have a um, Python ID installed on your machine. Okay, so. Um, that being said, okay, let's let's get, go ahead and start. Okay, so for that, a let's just do clear. So if for you to um, uh, in, so you do a pip install to install the um, any uh, just a Databricks um, what do you call the command line interface. So for that, you do a pip install. Okay, then the data bricks. Okay, so I already have a data brick uh, command line interface already installed on my machine. So I I am expecting to get a message saying a requirement already satisfied. Let's see. Okay, so yes, so I get this, which means a, I already have this installed. In your case, um, if you don't have this install um, once you do this you will see it's downloading and installing okay after that that is done so what you need to do is a now you want to point this a command line interface to your databricks uh, um, uh, spark cluster so for that what you do is a databricks configure two dashes then you do a token so as soon as you do this, it's going to prompt you for the host. The host is same you know, for everybody. So regardless, only thing is a which zone you pick during the uh, creation of your Databricks, okay? So in my case, you can see I have picked Central US. So when you do this, now it's prompting for token, okay? So once you have this token, it's when it's asking for token, what you do is a you go to the top right where you have this uh, person's icon where it says account. You click on this and then you click on user setting. Okay. Then you, once you've done that, you will get to this page where you would have to generate a token, um, a token, however long you want this token to last. Let's, let's, let's try this. Okay. Click on token, give them some kind of name. I'm going to just say N -O -A, N -O -A. so how long? i say 30 days is good for. So once you do this, I got this key. So you copy this token, then you go back here, you do this, so voila, so you are already, uh, your command line interface is already talking to your cluster, okay? So I can show you by, when you do a DBFS, then LS, then when you do a dbfs colon forward slash, okay, you see that a, it only has two directory, uh, which is a uh, which is already there. So let's go to the uh, Databricks it's, uh, Databricks itself and create a folder in there and then folder in there from okay so sh make directory and then in the database file system let's call that a NOAA okay so I do this so you can see that a and the folder should have been created so if I do shell listing LTR VBFS Okay, here, here it is. This is the folder we have created, okay? So in there, if I do a NOAA, there's nothing in there. Okay, it's an empty folder. So from the command line, I can show you that a that folder is created and let's move a file in there, okay? So a let's do a DBFS, then 
ls dash l then you do dgfs okay you sh you would see this noah folder in there let's move a file from a low uh, uh, from file that i have it locally okay so just say copy c i think it's under a videos folder i have this file called a hello which only says a thanks for visiting my channel so a then let's move this file to a gvfs noah db only if i knew how to type it's okay so we're moving the file okay that the files moved so over here if i do this now hit come here hit do this i should see that file hello.txt now let's do a uh, cat which is a see look at the content of the file okay here thank you for visiting my channel okay this is it now a uh, we have uh, downloaded and installed a command line interface and then which we point to the databricks spark cluster and then we have moved the file to demonstrate that uh, they both are talking to the same cluster thank you very much for watching my video and i hope you find my video helpful